The insane nuclear diamond batteries have finally hit the market. What is so special about nuclear diamond batteries, and what impact will they have on the battery industry? It is disappointing when the battery in your watch runs out. Worse still, if you're a Tesla driver and your battery dies while you're on the road. But you soon may be able to forget about this worry since the nuclear diamond battery has finally been launched, and believe it or not, these batteries can last up to 28,000 years. Scientists have been working on these game-changing batteries after a breakthrough at the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom. This battery is proposed to harness the radioactivity of waste graphite blocks and can generate electricity for thousands of years. If you are doubting the safety of this battery, you need not doubt any longer. San Francisco-based startup Nano Diamond Battery confirmed that the battery is safe for humans and they are confident that this battery will change the world. The Diamond Battery will also be a big boost to the space and rocket technology realm, where it can be used to power the space vehicles as they travel for long distances in the universe. Diamond Batteries may one day power satellites, providing them with enough spare energy to de-orbit at the end of their life, or probes heading into deep space for thousands of years. It will particularly be very helpful to Elon Musk's SpaceX, which has a mission of transporting humans and payloads to Mars by 2029. NASA's spacecraft are powered by a nuclear battery known as a Radioactive Thermoelectric Generator, or RTG. Batteries for implantable medical devices IMDs, must perform for an extended period without needing to be recharged or maintained, and their size and weight should be kept to a minimum. During the 1970s, nuclear batteries known as beta voltaic cells were commonly employed in IMDs. However, the possible risk of radiation prompted a move to lithium-ion batteries in the 1980s. The usage of beta voltaic cells is being reassessed in light of recent advances in nuclear batteries. The diamond battery is the perfect replacement for the lithium-ion batteries that are being developed by Tesla and used in most other EV brands. Lithium-ion batteries only give the Tesla cars a range of about 500 miles, but with nuclear diamond batteries, your car will be able to drive for several days without a charge. It is normal that even if we buy phones, we will go for one that has an excellent storage ability. You'll probably choose a phone that has a 7000 mAh storage over one that has a 5000 mAh storage to ensure that it will sustain you for a long time. In some other cases, people will carry chargers. But thanks to the nuclear diamond batteries, it is not unimaginable that you could use your phone for up to a decade without requiring a single charge. However, the Nano Diamond Battery Company is yet to reveal the price of the battery since it is in the development stage. The technology used to create these batteries is complex. The technology involves combining radioactive isotopes taken from nuclear waste with layers of paneled nano diamonds stacked into a battery cell. Medical devices that remain in your body for long periods of time, such as hearing aids and pacemakers, can benefit from the diamond batteries, given that they can produce energy for extended periods. The batteries are used to power machines that require consistently a small amount of power that is produced over long periods. The system works by adding diamond layers and radioactive waste panels so as to increase the needed output. One thing that most scientists admire about the battery is that it takes nuclear energy, something perceived as a negative element, and converts it into something good. This should be appreciated given that nuclear energy can be used to wreak havoc as in the situation where it is used to make nuclear weapons. As earlier mentioned, it is safe as it has a strong material which people cannot penetrate to access the stack-powered cells. It also has a coating of polycrystalline material which is highly dense to contain any radiation. In fact, it is 12 times denser than steel. As such, these batteries are considered incredibly safe. Every element in the world produces a certain level of radioactive energy, even our bodies. Early results from testing have suggested that these new batteries produce even less radioactive energy than our bodies. The NDB system uses diamonds which are extremely good conductors of electricity, which makes them good targets for electronic devices. In fact, their rate of conduction is four times that of steel. Scientists cultivate these miniature diamonds using chemical vapor deposition, a process in which gases at extremely high temperatures force carbon to crystallize on a substrate material. That process, NDB admits, creates a cost bottleneck, making this process very expensive as of right now. When enough of these diamond battery cells are combined, they might still power higher energy demanding gadgets on Earth, such as LED displays on tablets and mobile phones. NDB, on the other hand, intends to produce a smartwatch as its very first commercial product, with a launch date set for 2022. If this is true, you could possess a single watch with a single battery and pass it down the generations without ever having to replace it. Talk about an heirloom!
The battery is made of two types of nano-diamonds and produces its own charge instead of storing energy generated elsewhere, making it almost crash-proof if used in cars or other moving things. The diamond battery is beta-voltaic, which is similar to a photovoltaic solar cell, but it converts beta radiation, as opposed to light, into electricity. It's manufactured through the process of chemical vapor deposition, which uses C14 methane and hydrogen plasma to grow diamond films at high temperatures. The nuclear waste from which NDB plans to make its batteries are reactor parts that have become radioactive due to exposure to nuclear plant fuel rods. While not considered high-grade nuclear waste, that would be spent fuel. It's still very toxic, and there's a lot of it in a nuclear generator. The firm also anticipates their batteries to be competitively priced compared to current batteries, such as lithium-ion, and possibly even cheaper once they're mass-produced. Nuclear power plants currently have a huge problem. When producing nuclear energy, a byproduct of nuclear waste is created. Getting rid of this waste is not an easy task, and the solution so far has been to bury it covered in steel and concrete. It is expected that these nuclear plants will pay nuclear diamond battery companies to take their nuclear waste and utilize it in their batteries, thus reducing the cost of these batteries significantly. Dr. Tom Scott's research at the University of Bristol focuses on understanding the fundamental and changing properties of materials in a variety of artificial and natural contexts in order to better predict their performance and develop techniques for improving it. He spent a lot of time researching for and on behalf of the nuclear power sector. He is the technical director of Imitech Limited, a spin-off firm that specializes in detecting and mapping radioactive elements in an industrial, urban, and environmental setting. When exposed to tremendous pressures deep inside the Earth's crust, natural diamonds, which are totally comprised of carbon-12, require hundreds of thousands to millions of years to develop. There is no radioactive carbon in these. Artificial diamonds are made with a good carbon source, such as graphite, and a high-pressure machine. They do not, however, contain any radioactive material. Radioactive C14 isotopes, which are known to be the greatest nuclear waste by volume, are used to make radioactive man-made diamonds for use in diamond batteries. From a functional aspect, a diamond battery is similar to the radioisotope electric generators used in space probes and rovers. The diamond battery generates electric charge by direct energy conversion using a semiconductor diode and C14 as a radioisotope source. When compared to other options, the power output of these diamond cells is low. However, because of their overall lifespan, they are likely to become important components in future electronics manufacturing. It is possible to turn a long-term serious problem of nuclear waste management into a nuclear-powered battery for a long-term supply of clean energy by encapsulating radioactive materials inside diamonds. The cost of creating an artificial diamond is substantially lower than the expense of removing used nuclear fuel and nuclear waste from the environment. Despite efforts, it is estimated that by 2023, the United States will only have enough radioactive fuel to power two and a half nuclear battery modules per year. There is no doubt that the nuclear diamond batteries are the future. Thank you for watching the video. Kindly consider subscribing for all the best tech news delivered daily.